This is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome back to the channel. This video is in the Atmospheric Science Playlist, and we're looking at the stratosphere, a layer of our atmosphere above our heads which impacts our climate and allows for organic life to survive on this planet through a thin layer of ozone called the ozone layer. Our atmosphere extends up to a gradual boundary whereby the air molecules start to decrease in the amount and gradually start to fade into what we know as space, which is a vacuum. So no air molecules exist in space, but there's a gradual decrease of air molecules between the atmosphere and space. And this altitude above the surface of the Earth kind of varies, but there is a definitive line called the Kármán line about 100 kilometers above the surface that is universally accepted as a definitive boundary between our atmosphere with the air molecules and air pressure and space. So our stratosphere, the Earth's stratosphere, extends from the troopause to the stratopause and this layer of air in between. The troopause varies between 7 to 20 kilometers based on latitude and the stratopause varies between 45 and 50 kilometers based on latitude, kind of, but not as much as the troopause. So this layer is roughly between 35 and 40 kilometers thick above the Earth's surface and sits above the troposphere and sits below the mesosphere. But it is part of the middle atmosphere. So early scientific experiments on the stratosphere conducted around the early 1900s discovered this layer and what happened is that they saw that there was a temperature inversion. Now at the top of the troopause, about 7 to 20 kilometers up based on latitude, they found that it was cold based on the lack of thermal heating from the Earth's surface. And they realized that once they went above this layer with hot air balloons and measurements, the air became more settled out and spread out, and that's where the name stratosphere came from. Well, strato means to be layered. And the temperature profile as you increase in altitude through this, this stratosphere that was discovered early in 900s, they found that the temperature increased. Now, the definition of the stratosphere, the middle of the atmosphere, is that the temperature increases up to a point of around zero degrees or 32 degrees Fahrenheit at around 50 kilometers in altitude. Then throughout the stratopause, the temperature is going to stop increasing and then start to decrease through the mesosphere, which is the above layer. Now this temperature inversion means that the, the air actually reverses the temperature profile as seen in the troposphere. So the troposphere it starts warm and gets colder as you increase in altitude, whereas the stratosphere starts cold and increases in temperature as you increase in altitude. So the primary reason why the troposphere, the first layer below the stratosphere, heats up close to the surface is because of the radiation conduction convection of energy and thermal energy at the surface whereby the air is heated by the presence of a hotter Earth's surface. However, the stratosphere is not near the surface and it heats up at a certain rate in this layer and this is caused by the absorption and emittance or release of thermal energy. So it absorbs ultraviolet radiation through a molecule called ozone, which is formed also through ultraviolet light and photons. And this absorption of energy releases infrared thermal energy into the atmosphere and heats up the atmosphere. So the ozone layer is the highest concentration in terms of Dobson units in the column of air of ozone in the atmosphere. And the atmosphere reacts by heating up and this is where you get this temperature inversion and the temperature profile through the stratosphere of this increase in heat as you're going through the stratosphere up towards the stratopause and into the mesosphere where it stops increasing in heat and starts to decrease.
you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and hit the like button. If you like more on this content, please check out my channel, which has all these videos on Earth Science.